Right. You're relaxing too much for my liking. <laughs> it's time we both stepped outside our comfort zone. OK. You know you said you didn't have a head for heights? Yeah. Well, you're about to find out. This has been a great way to kick off our day, but we need to dial up the adrenaline. And I think what I've got lined up next, Tani is going to love. And you, now, when you said you didn't have a head for heights, were you joking or were you being serious? I have been on a, a wire once. Uh, it was the 2012 Paralympic Games opening ceremony, so I couldn't say no to it. So a week before the Games, had a phone call saying, would you be in the opening ceremony? I was like, I'll do anything. They said, we want to put you on a wire. Cool. And I went to the stadium and they took us to the roof of the stadium. It was really, that's where I saw a lot. How high is that? I don't know, 60 something metres. Wow, uh, so is that like, is that, that, was that quite a traumatic experience? It was quite traumatic. Well, do you know what? You're about to relive it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you're going to love it. Right, how high is it? <laughs> We're going to be going on one of these. We've come to Calvert Trust Kielder, which offers a whole range of outdoor activities that are accessible to all. The site is run by Catherine Little. We have activities that everybody can access and we have the staff with the knowledge and the experience to enable everybody to take part. Right. Young and old. So for me, growing up, places, you know, the countryside wasn't accessible. So how much of a difference do you think it makes to people's lives? Oh, massive difference. We see people who have been and they've been able to achieve things that they maybe just didn't think was possible because we've got the equipment that is required. Everybody has a different requirement, a different need, and we can cater for that. And when you're talking about activities, what we got on offer at Kielder? For like, say, adrenaline junkies, mm -hmm. you know, thrill seekers like me and Tani. Uh, okay, well, we've got a zip coaster, <gasps> but only one in Europe. So is that like a zip wire Plus, stroke roller coaster? Yes, combined. Wow, do you fancy that, Tani? It looks really interesting, but I'm never going to be able to get up there. Of course you are. We've got a lift. That's what makes it accessible. Normally my get-out clause is I can't do it because it's not accessible, but yeah. seeing as it is, are you going first? I'll go first. I'll if, be the guinea If you pig. do it, I'll do it. Great. OK. Only one in Europe. I'm going to have to do it then. This 197-metre, specially adapted roller coaster rail allows thrill-seekers like us to ride the course in a seated position riding amongst the trees, dipping and twisting at speeds of up to 20 miles an hour. He who dares wins. He who dares wins. And being the kind of actor who does a lot of his own stunts, sometimes, I'm more than happy to show Tani how to ride it. Oh. My. God. Looking after the all-important safety is Nat. OK, talk me through it. How high are we up? We're probably about 10, 12 metres or so. It's all gravity bred, so pretty much once you start off, gravity will just take you along. There's a couple of bumps on the way and there's a nice big circle. Well, don't know about you, but I'm ready. OK, shall we get you clipped in then? Clipped in and double checked, I'm ready to ride. Nat, if there's one word of advice you could yep. give me while I'm hurtling down there at a few hundred miles an hour, what would it be? Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Oh my god, oh hang on. Oh hang on. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is great. All I can do is hold on. Oh this god. is literally like a roller coaster ride. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Whoa. I am loving this. Whoa. Catch me, cat! Cat! Breaks the bat! Oh, oh, it picks up speed, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to Terra Firma. That was great. <laughs> did you come in backwards, Rob? I came in backwards. I thought you did. I'm sorry about that. That was great. That was such... Oh, Tani's going to love that. <laughs> Tani's going to... I wish I could see Tani's <laughs> face right now. <laughs> Tell you, you what, why don't you stay down the bottom here and watch her do it? <laughs> This doesn't look too bad. Oh, my goodness. My stomach has gone all really funny. Have you done anything like this before? Um, I've been on a wire, but nothing like this. Be absolutely fine, then. 
With Tani all strapped in, she's ready to experience the thrills and spills of the zip coaster. OK. Oh, I'm right, closing my eyes. Is it 30 seconds? About 40. Oh. You'll be grand. Oh, God. You're on. Ah! Oh, no! This is quite this is lovely. Nice. I mean, it is amazing that you can get a lift up to it. I mean, that yeah. is incredible. Thank you. Right, let's go and do something nice and serene. My weekend break with Tani is not over yet. Well, this is something you're not going to forget in a hurry, isn't it? I feel we need a change of pace, and I've got the perfect antidote to the high octane ride we've just been on. Robson, see what you made me do. It's an ideal way to top off our brilliant day. And it certainly won't involve any heights. There is no way I would have done that without you being there. Not is a that chance. Right? Yeah, not wouldn't have is done that it. Right? So I'm, I'm glad I've done it, but I've retrospectively put it on my bucket list. I've ticked it off, so I'm never doing it again. One more thing to do. Let's me and you just paddle on certainly my favourite stretch of water in this area and um, sail off into the sunset. It's been really good fun. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I laughed so much in a day. <laughs> and cried a little bit. Yeah. And, but, but laughed a lot. The adrenaline-filled rides are only part of what's on offer here at the Calvert Trust at Kielder. One of their biggest attractions is getting on the water. And with their own access point, it's not long before we're enjoying the delights of being on Kielder water. Do you remember the opening credits of a Y50? Yeah. <laughs> With its flat water, it's so peaceful. It's the perfect place to just kick back and chill. This is very relaxing. Yeah. So you're doing the steering, I'm, I'm the power. <laughs> you haven't had a really good deal today, have you, to be honest? Go on, take us left, go on. <laughs> Come on, man, Tanny. Nice. Nice right. move. Oh, no. OK. <laughs> We're rubbish, aren't we? Yeah, that's it, right, OK. Right, OK. <laughs> right, we've got this. Yeah, we've right. got it. Are we going in a straight line now? I'm not sure we're going to be Olympic standard on this. Nah, it's the taking part that counts, Tani. <laughs> Do you know, I stopped competing years ago, but when I'm driving around somewhere new, I still look at roads and think, oh, they'd be nice to train on. Do you miss it, Tani? Um. No. There's some, some bits of some bits of competing which you can never replicate ever. You know, some of the big stadiums I've been in and things like that. Um, I don't miss the training. Was it Ed Moses the hurdler? Yeah. He he said he knew he was gonna win. He knew because he'd done all the training. Did you ever have that, Tan? Did you actually know? A couple of times. Did there you? was there was one race where it was Gothenburg, and I remember looking at the track and how quick it was and the weather, the temperature. I remember thinking, I, I'm going to go really quick today. I could, I could break a world record. Mm. There were probably two or three races in my life that I thought, today's going to be really good. I have had the best day, hand on heart. I have loved every second of your company. I will remember <laughs> this for as long as I live, you legend. Oh, it's been amazing. <laughs> I've had so much fun. <laughs> I've literally smiled all day. Oh. How can you not in this part of the world, Tani? We've done a lot today, haven't we? We've it's, done a it's lot. It's been a really busy day. I could do with a nap, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to wrap up my time here at Kielder. And it's been a real privilege sharing it with Tani. It's also made me appreciate how important it is to make the countryside accessible for all. And we've seen how that can be done. Hey, and do you know what? We what? didn't fall in. <laughs> it's given me a renewed love and respect for Kielder as a place where people with access needs can embrace my love of the great outdoors too. It doesn't get much better than that. 
and it is fresh air. Good for you. Fresh is best.